Hi friends, welcome to Tabletop Tonight, where we are playing Splitter! Let's take a look at the game and jump right into it. Uh, this is a roll and write game where you're rolling a pair of six-sided dice and everyone's got the same, same score sheet. And what you're doing is writing numbers symmetrically to the center line. And you'll eventually fill up the sheet and then score points based on what numbers are adjacent to each other. So I'm going to start rolling dice. And if you have a copy of the game at home, you can play along. Uh, the first roll is going to be a three and a one. And I'll teach the game as we go. So I'm going to place this three and one anywhere on my my sheet but one number has to be on the left side and the other has to be on the right side and they have to be symmetrical so in this case let's just put the three here and the one here notice that i put them one space away from the center line and everyone's going to do that on their own sheet they can place them like maybe one next to each other here or over here or in the stars um, we'll talk about the stars in just a second uh, the next roll is a four and a five uh, so i'll put the four let's put the four here I'll put the five here and I'll put the four here. Now, to score at the end of the game, after you fill up the sheet, you're gonna look at the numbers that are adjacent, that are orthogonally adjacent and score like um, accordingly. So if I had three threes all set together right here, that would score me three points. That's one set of threes. Uh, the one's gonna have to be by itself, not surrounded by any other ones, and that'll be one point. You can have multiples. So if I had a set of threes here, a set of threes here, that would equal six points, three for each. Okay, and that's uh, all the way up to six. So let's do the next roll. It's another one and a three. So here's the funny thing. If I put the three here to continue this set, I must put the one here and that's gonna kill those ones. So maybe I can do a three here and a one here. Okay, or I can do uh, even better, I think. I'll erase, so that's why you get uh, pencils in this game. <laughs> I'm gonna put the three here and the one here. So this is diagonal, that does not count for adjacency. Okay, next roll is a four and a five. Um, oh, okay, that's good because I can put those right next to each other, four and a five. Again, they are symmetrical. So the fours are gonna score if I get four of them together, fives will score if I get five of them together. Okay, uh, let's continue. Oh, got another four and a three. So here's the, th the thing about this game. Normally, you know, in any other game, you would want to put the three here and the four here. But because it's splitter, you have to split it from the middle line and make it uh, symmetrical. So um, I am going to, oh, do I do the four? You know what? No, I'm going to do the four here and the three here. Okay, I'm going to take my chances. Uh, let's roll again. I've got a two and a six. Okay, no twos or sixes on board yet. Um, tell you what, I'm going to put a six here. Actually, no, because I want the, oh, okay, yeah. I'll put the six here and the two here. Again, they're symmetrical. Uh, hopefully I can get some fives down here and then, uh, that's going to be tough. Now you won't be able to score all of them, um, obviously, but you try your best. Okay. Uh, there's a three and a six. So I do have the three here. And then if I do it symmetrically here, that'll put the six over here. Yep. So I have a set of threes there now if you'll notice these stars if i happen to have a number here that's part of a set that set will be doubled so if i can put um for instance three threes here i would get one two three here that would be a set of threes along with this set of threes this set of threes instead of worth three points would be worth six points okay next roll of the dice uh two and a three so i can put the three here and the two here so that'll score the two and the threes are continuing here a lot of threes this game okay oh double fives okay so this might be pretty cool this i'm gonna put the fives here so i've got four fives and again that cross the line but that's okay they're symmetrical so let's go to the next roll a three and a four okay that's good uh because i can if i put them a three here and a four here i have a set of fours and a set of threes Cool, cool, cool. And you just continue. It's a really quick game. Uh, you just continue until your score sheet is filled up. There's a two and a five. Ooh. Let's put the five here and put the two here. So I've got a set of fives. Got a two there. Um, let's see. Two and a four. Okay. Now you don't want to put a four here. If I put a two here and a four here, that's not that's going to kill my fours because it has to be exactly the number you're trying to go for. So in this case, I have exactly four there. So what I'm going to do, I'll put the two on this side. That way I have twos and I'll put a four here. So obviously that four is not going to score, but that's okay. Okay. Here's a six and a five. Are we going to go for these sixes here? Can we get a six here? Um, so I'll put a six here and a five here. Maybe we can connect these sixes here. We shall see. 
Uh, there's a six and a three. So I'll put the three here and the six here. So I've got one, two, three sixes, four, five, six. If we can get a couple of sixes there, ooh, that would be so nice. Come on, double sixes. Four and a five. Okay. Don't want to kill that. Um, hmm. We'll put a four here and a five here. Okay. And we continue. We've got a three and a four. Um, okay, I'll put a four here. Okay, yeah, we got a shot. Four here and a three here. So if I can get two more threes here and two more fours there, I'll get a set of fours doubled or a set of threes doubled. Ooh, there's the three. Oh, okay, so it's going to hurt, though, folks. This is what happens. Um, I'm going to put a three here, and I'll put a five here. That's going to kill off that four, unfortunately. Oh, uh, yeah, because all I want... Yeah, I want a three here. Okay. Hey, there's my three. Okay, so three here... And a five here. And we've got four, or actually we got a, a squares left here. We got a, I forgot about these down here. Okay, one and a six. Ooh, there's the six. But oh, that's what's going to, if I do the six here, that's one, two, three, four. And then the one will cut it off. If I put the six here, yeah. Oh, that's a bummer. Uh, you know, I'll take a chance. I'm going to put a six down here and a one down here. We're going to see what happens. Uh, there's a four and a two. Uh, I'll put the four here and the two here. Can we get lucky with a double six? There's a single six. Uh, I'll put a single six here and a one there. So maybe one, two, three, four. Uh, no. Darn it. It's not going to work out. But the final roll is a three and a three. Oh, no. That's a bummer because the three and the three there is going to ruin my three set. Oh, Okay, so that's the end of the game. Really quick game, right, folks? So what I'm going to do now is score points uh, based on the numbers. So the number one, unfortunately, so I'm, I'll cross these out as we go. This number one is kind of connected to that one, so it's not by itself. It does not score. This one is by itself. That scores one. Circle that. Um, there's a one down here by itself. That's going to score, so that's two points. So one for each one. Okay, let's look at the twos. Uh, there's a set of twos here, okay, just orthogonally adjacent, and there's a set of twos here. There's a single two here, that's not going to score. So I've got one, two, so they're each worth two points for four. Now our threes. This three got killed. Look at this. Oh, I had that three early on, and unfortunately it all, uh, it all connected there, so this is not going to score. However, I do have this set of threes right here, and I have this set of threes here, uh, so... Uh, any other threes? No. So this one's worth three points. And this one, because it's got a star in it, is doubled. So three times uh, two is six, plus this one, three, is nine. Okay. Let's look at a fours. Did we get those fours? We did. Over here, we've got these fours here. Any other fours? This is a single four. No, this is a single four. Uh, the star single four does not count for anything. So we have one set of fours for four points. And then the fives. Did we do the fives? We did. We had uh, this, these right here fives one two three four five uh that was a single five here single five a bunch of single fives not going to do a single but we have one set of fives for five points and then the sixes we we took a chance we did not do it we had one two three three of them here and then one here one here yeah none of the six is connected so that's a zero so then you just add your score i've got two four that's six plus nine fifteen plus 4 is 19, plus 5 is 24. Really, is that it? 6, 15, 19, 24. Did I? Oh my gosh, did I? I might have lost. Yes, I did. According to the rule sheet, uh, 27 points or less in a solo game, you lose. Oh my god, how embarrassing is that? I'm going to show you what I did off camera, folks, because I was much prouder of that score. Um, I got 38 the very first uh, game before today, uh, tonight's game, so... 38, I that was nice. So the 51 or more is otherworldly. So that is how you play Splitter. Now, uh, it does come with two different score pads. And you'll see this one here actually has the stars and hearts. And the hearts, what that is, is if, if you can uh, get the same number in all three hearts, you get an additional, where is the uh, bonus? Uh, I think it's an additional five points. Uh, let me, I'll check the rules right here. Um, yes, if you write down the same number in all three heart spaces, you score five additional 
bonus points. So that's another thing. It's a little trickier, and the layout's different. A little tougher there. I, I will, you know, since I showed my good score from the other game, I will show this score that I played with the hearts. I got a 30 on there. So I did get the heart bonus, but I missed out on my fours and sixes. So that is it friends thank you so much for this quick run through of this quick and fun roll and write game uh, called splitter from our friends at pandasaurus uh hope you enjoy the game and you know let me know in the comments below what your score was i'm i'm sure you beat my score didn't you um, until next time i'll see you later bye